Heist Battlegrounds Moon is the fifth Grandmaster Nightfall in Season of the Witch. Clear it the weeks of October 10th and November 20th for a chance to earn the Braytech Osprey Rocket Launcher and an adept version if you kill every champion. This guide will make that platinum clear a breeze, but it moves fast. Get three players to power 1815 and let's dive in. Modifiers increase damage by 25%, surges for outgoing strand and solar, overcharge for snipers and anti-champ weapons, and threat for incoming void. There are barrier and unstoppable champions, arc solar and void shields, and lots of scorn snipers and grenades that will one-shot you. Hunters, try Threadrunner with Whirling Maelstrom and Foe Tracer to give high damage and ability uptime, though Night Stalker with Trapper's Ambush and Omnioculus is always a safe bet. Warlock's Broodweaver with Swarmers to lock down enemies and harness the recent Threadling buff, but Well of Radiance with Phoenix Protocol will always get your team out of a tough spot. Titans, Berserker with a Bayant Leap, Shackle Grenades, and Banner of War give crowd control and team healing, or Sunbreaker with Throwing Hammer, Soul Invictus, and Lorelei Splendor will always keep you alive. Weapons! For Andy Barrier, Wish Ender is an infinite ammo workhorse, but Quicksilver Storm's crazy mid-range damage is great here. For Unstoppables, Fusion Rifles can pull Add Clear Double Duty with perks like Reservoir Burst, Incandescent, or Volt Shot. Stasis Exotics like Wicked Implement can freeze and shatter on their own, but doubling down on strand effects for suspend is your best bet. Heavies, machine guns like Retrofit Escapade with target lock melt enemies with huge ammo reserves. Bipod rockets like Apex Predator let you fire up to four rockets in a row at the cost of some damage. And Leviathan's breath damage is still top tier. Under Armour always prioritize resilience and recovery. Resistances, as many void resist mods as you can, sniper or concussive dampener will help too. Run as many ammo finders, scouts, and siphons as possible. Weapon surge mods increase matching damage by 10% for one mod, 17 for two. Time dilation makes these armor charge effects last longer. Proximity war grants overshield during finishers, while Empowered Finish grants armor charge if you have no stacks. On the Seasonal Artifact, pick Anti-Champ and Dual Siphon mods to match your weapons and subclass element. Monochromatic Maestro boosts matching weapon and subclass damage, and it's stacking more than it should. An Elemental Embrace turns your buffs into 50% damage resist. Into the strike, run toward the hive structure. When enemies spawn, climb the hill on the right. This metal ledge is home base. From here, clear the area below of adds and champs. After killing two barriers, a Death Tongue spawns and runs to the distant hive totem. If it reaches the totem, super melee and grenade abilities won't work. Kill it to stop the effect, but there's no rush. Once the hive structure recedes, jump down, but keep your distance. If the Seraph laser spots you for 15 seconds, you die, stay out of sight. Slowly, carefully kill ogres, champs, and a mini boss knight to clear the encounter. Enter the doors and jump down the slide. Clear the next few rooms of their adds and scorn chieftain. Remember, their void attacks are one hit kills. Enter and clear the large control room. Go to the waypoint and start the hack. Stay near the entry door, duck inside if you need some cover. It's very safe, but if all players are in here, the hack will stop. Reactivate the ghost to resume. Major enemy spawn based on progress interrupting the hack. Kill them all to resume. At 25%, a mini boss sniper and two unstoppable champs. At 50%, another sniper and two more unstops. At 75%, a mini boss abomination and one unstop. At 100%, all enemies despawn and a doorway opens. Carefully sidestep the lasers, they're one-hit kills. Crawl through vents to reach the bunker. Turn around and climb atop the door. Use lasers to break the hive seals. Send a player to the right to kill two majors and get another laser. Keep the doorway clear for their return, so they can break the remaining seals to despawn enemies and open the door. Head inside to reach the boss room. Head to the far left corner, this is home base. If you're in danger, rotate to another corner. Activate the console to spawn the boss once furious. Phase one, kill adds and damage the boss. Its sniper attack is a one hit kill. Its health bar shows a blue line when it goes immune, either from aether walking or void totem. At one quarter boss health, more adds spawn. At one half health, the boss goes immune. Phase two, the boss shoots from the middle. Adds and two unstop champions spawn, prioritize them. Next, kill arc charge scorn to drop arc charges. Dunk them in the center console. Each dunk spawns more adds, proceed at your own pace. Dunk five charges to remove the boss's shield. Phase three, it's phase one, but with double the add spawn. Stay safe and kill once furious to clear the strike. That's your quick guide to the heist moon grandmaster in season of the wit. If these fast end game guides are helpful, spread the word. I'll have guides like this for every grandmaster this season. If you have tips for builds, weapons, or strategies, comment below. We'll see you next time. Get striking, guardians.